Don't know why this happens. But yes, yeah, sometimes sound effects only come out of the uh, speakers. So weird. to change my settings. Yeah, there's a thing you could do, but like, I don't really even really think it does much. It's a bit of a letdown as a thing. Now we're just ready, ready to play, play ball. Except instead of a ball, it's a. So you said that. Move towards. Hey, 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 hey. No, it's right in here. It's up here. It's Dry Lagoon. Or Dragoon. Hello? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Is this thing off? Is this thing to the side? I don't know what that even means in terms of on and off. I guess it would have to be halfway on, not to the side. To the side means nothing. Of course, that's for someone like me, who never takes a side. Of course, all of this is just an aside. Yeah, I mean, don't take it seriously. Uh, that would be a mistake. If the thumbnail is wrong, I don't know why. I'm not fixing it. Uh, let's see. So, I, I don't know why it looks wrong. It's just the, That's just how life is. Yeah, so, I'm in the middle of, like, a deep thunderstorm. So, like... If this doesn't look very good, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it might not. This might not be smooth sailing. Because, you know, thunderstorm. But, 
Welcome to Rouge the Bat the Stage. This this series. Okay, it's time to play it. And of course, as always, tell me if there's audio issues. Uh yeah, so three pieces of the emerald are hidden somewhere. Watch the radar at the bottom of the screen and use the hints. We gotta figure this place out. 15,000 points for the first stage of Dry Lagoon. It's, yeah, it's been a good day. Uh, today was opening night for Suzuko. I am the house manager. I sell tickets. Outside a jail cell. So I sell tickets to the people, the poor people of London. Uh, oh good, that's good. Uh, on Twitter it's showing up as like this San Francisco Giants thumbnail, which is not correct. Uh, so I got worried. Anyway, so I, it's opening night as soon as I go, it's great, uh, I'm very excited to see it, I haven't seen it yet, uh, it's a good, it just feels, it's just, it's a good, it looks good, in the water, got it. So we can just jump with this turtle and he brings us down to the speed. This is... I forgot how good Rouge music is. I haven't seen Suzuko, but again, I, I do the, uh, I sell tickets, basically. I'm a house manager, actually. I'm underselling my job, right? Because I do a lot more arguably than sell tickets, because I, I, uh, manage the entire front of house. I was pretty good. Uh, I don't know how the, how the musical is, a coconut. I was just saying a coconut. Because I haven't seen the musical. But I do think it's a very good. Uh, it seems good. Everything seems to be doing the well. We got. It's Suzical. It's based off of Zeus. Uh, but house management. I will say the opening night was a little bit of. Opening night, it never goes smoothly on the management side. Nero Leaf? What do you mean? No, nope, I can't use that one. Oh, sure, is I have like the little... I didn't, never realized... Oh, wait. That's not like the sky bag. Yeah, th that's the treasure scope on her. I thought that was like... Foreshadowing her government ties. But it's just the shadow. It's just the treasure scope. Where does Five Street is Dry Lagoon Headquarters Security Hall Route 280 in Mad Space. On the palm tree near the small oasis. I'm gonna check over here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, thing. Starting area is the small oasis. It pretty much seems like it, if it's gonna be here, you'll hear it immediately. It kind of feels like that. It's probably gonna be the place to be for the coin, because. There's a whole 20 and there's like another bunch over there. Yeah, but no, it's, it's, it was hectic. It all, time always sneaks up to you on the, like, on the second night, third night, like, there's this kind of feeling of like, just kind of like waiting for like stuff to get, stuff to get going. No such thing exists for opening night. Opening night, you're like, alright, I'm slowly getting a handle with like, oh no, people are here. Uh, it's crazy uh of course i got i have someone with me for opening night i'll do it myself i actually have someone with me for most nights uh i just the only night i don't have someone with me is uh only only night i don't have someone with me is tomorrow and so we're gonna have to rush run that whole thing but it should be fine uh, but today, but yeah, it's been a great, it's been a time. Oh shoot, how do I summon the turtle? Oh, I have to blow up these guys who are bullying the turtle. And then he'll like, go over there. I got, hi turtle. Uh... So it's gotta be. So 
here's the thing we are back into areas that are so small we can get within range of a gem like very like just by like i can search all available areas and i just do this i can actually probably rely only on the detector for this level and it'll be faster and better because i don't get the i'll get four points uh but yeah no opening night's also hard it's hard because it's it's hectic and i don't know what like and like you try to prepare but like stuff's always super busy and so you usually don't have a super large amount of time to prepare maybe it's up because other yeah i was gonna say it's very very small uh like you, you normally you don't have a super large time to prepare, and you and there's always gonna be blind spots that you don't realize until you actually get to doing it, and then you realize, oh shoot, would have been nice if I knew how to X Y Z and like if I had X Y and Z figured out. But there's nothing you can do at that point. You just gotta live with the consequences. Uh. Yeah, sorry, I've been rambling because I can ramble, right? I can ramble without uh, putting... Can I get this from this side, this side of the bench? No. Actually, I can ramble without distracting myself on the stage. Is it... Do I... Oh, shoot, how do I do this? Yeah, I know, man, I wasted that. How do I get into a waste of chill, though? It's usually from the back. So I gotta go, like, up here. Uh, hi, how is everyone doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it was opening night for Suzical, uh, which is exciting. So I dig in here. How do I get in this thing? Maybe we have to go down. Oh, probably. I think I have to go in here. How do I get in here? Okay, so it's coming from. Oh, it's coming. I have to go in. Nope, that's also pushing. How do I get in this oasis jail? Oh shoot, can Rouge not breathe underwater? Oh, that's super annoying. I still don't know how to get in. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to get in this thing. Well, this is, well, you know what, it can't be the second try, I guess. Let's learn more information. No, I know it's in the water. I don't know how to get there. Probably because I don't have to really explore too much, because, yeah. Grab the turtle in the water, it may take you somewhere. We have to grab this guy. And apparently we don't have... ...water yet. Like, we can't... Is there not a power-up to let Roosh breathe underwater? Like, really? That's massively surprising to me. I think dry wood. Oh, this is the only level with water. That makes sense. Route 280 specifically is after a car scene, as you're going to do it as part of Rouge's report off to play its road and mean it the main character. I'm going to do it as part of Rouge's, just so I can get Rouge's stuff done. It's all too easy for it. Go to this one. What is uh, mean? Why is this noise happening? What does it mean again? Uh. Go up here.
ditch one. Oh, it's right there. How do I get it? I can go all the way over here, verify there's nothing there, fly all the way over here, verify that it, at least the next one isn't here, fly all the way back, pretty much land on the turtle, pop up, I know uh, it's got to be pretty high up if I'm not getting the beeps from the ground level, because there's really only like a few places to go. Well, this is concerning. It's not, oh, no, it's up here. I think it's down here. It's not in there. <laughs> and I'm asking a, I'm asking a thing. Red flower in the water. My dog is barking. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. What is red flower in the water? Is it not the red flower in the water? Try something. That was over here, so the speed near the turtle. It does this. My dog is barking, so either he's gonna freak out over nothing, or I'm about to be like killed by like the Zodiac killer or something. I really hope it's not that other one. They call the spring is red flower sometimes. It's weird. Yeah, I think that that cost me my win. But this time for sure, I'll make it. All right, dry lagoon again.
All right, got it. All right, and that gives me seven four. All right, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Fifteen thousand eight fifty. We're playing Pikmin recently. This film been majorly stressed me out with this narrow path, constant water, and annoying enemies. Boy, is this your first time playing Pikmin? After that one point, you need yellow for the board. And they carry the part off a cliff into the water and they all all drown. I don't think you you don't need yellows for that part. I'm pretty sure the puzzle is is like a place where you go, where it's low enough down you can throw blues, and then you lead the blues to the part, and then they carry it down. I don't think you're actually supposed to use yellows there. Uh, unless you're talking about the one point where they have the onion, like the Omega Stabilizer. Uh, yeah, you're probably talking about the Omega Stabilizer. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm getting rings. No, it's probably... It's probably better not to go down. Right? Because, like, I can go here. All these rings. No, it's not the Omega Stabilizer. It's like Gluon Drive. What is that? The I, you know what I'm talking about. Two minutes for the for the rings. Only 40 seconds for the challenge. I don't know where it is. I don't remember where the Mystic Melody is. Or rather, I didn't see a super obvious Mystic Melody. Come on. It's not as easy to get up in this version of the level. Or the level. So like, that's part of what made Knuckles' first level so easy. You could just climb super easily. Should have just repair type bullets. Where is it? Repair type bullet. I'm trying to figure out where you're talking about. Alright, can you describe how you're supposed to get it? Boing. Got it. Just in time. Like within 10 seconds. A minute. 50. And that gets me up to 101 emblems. We are actually burning through this. And now it's time for that to screech to a to a halt. Because we have to find the uh we have to find the child. Of course, the smaller the level, the more in the radius. Near the dolphins on a high ledge up, and make sure you think uh, you need a lot of path. It has that path around, look, it's too high for blues. High up ledge. Oh, is it the one in like the maze? That is a weird one. I think you're talking about, like, is it the one in the maze-like thing? Anyway, I'm glad you're playing Pikmin again. Uh, for, cause, actually, I pick, is this your first time playing the original Pikmin? I can't remember. So you're gonna officially have played all of them when it's three times. Da -da. Break these, now we'll open up this. If it isn't here, then it's gonna be a tricky one. Yep, it is. Just like Knuckles in this thing, this is gonna be tricky. Oh hey, the golden robot. That can't be all that's here. Yeah, it's Mr. Melody Portal.
First time playing OG Pikmin. Feels like a relic of its time. I know. Uh, it's very interesting. But I can also see how people really liked, might really like to uh, replay it. It's very good, I think, for an archive. I actually thought, I've actually considered at least at one time trying to do, making Pikmin like a, I'm not sure how I'd, like, how I'd stop it, but Pikmin might be an interesting kind of like, oh, uh, what do I call them? Break stream? Median stream? The stream in the middle of stuff? How do I forget this? Intermission. A uh, Pikmin might be an intermission because you could just like, keep trying it because I because Pikmin especially the original GameCube kitchen isn't made for like improving each day it's made for doing full runs and trying to improve each time you do a full run why did I do that I have to know that it's most efficient to get up here immediately start climbing Dang it. I, I do admire its uh, kind of purity. There is nothing that's like... Like, I, I admire some of the purity of, of one. All of its flaws aside, of which they're definitely all accountable flaws it's like it's done the like the concept is uh the idea of doing the uh how do i explain this uh i like that like there is nothing there is a, there are no there is no leveling to it I, come on you stupid portal Are you kidding me? I hate this game. Why does it have invisible portals? Okay, anyway, invisible portals aside. First off, you don't need yellows, but I don't think it was well telegraphed. It's on a high ledge, there's a small ledge below that it looks like they'll carry it down onto. But they don't. Yeah, I'll have to look that up and figure out what it is. Skip right over it and hop into the water. That sounds about right. Oh, uh, is it the Prefetrix boat? I think it might be. I think I actually... Yeah, huh. The pathing in that game is not well done. Yeah, I... I like that, like, nothing is special. Like, the BD Long Legs gets a boss fight theme. And that's the most, like, special any one part becomes from getting any other part. And the final boss, obviously, feels like a final boss. But other than that, everything else is just... It's all just its... Uh, just doing its... Just doing the very... The very... Uh, the thing. I got it! So I don't think you can guide them around. It still looks very high. I didn't consider there any blows up there. But fair enough. I think I... Yeah, I'm trying to think of this. Yeah. But no. Uh, I do like that everything is... Yeah. Very, very frustrated about that. Yeah, sure. That is true. That is uh, the true. Pyramid 1 is jank. But it's also like... I do kind of like it. It has like a different. All three, all four Pikmin games have like different vibes as well. I think one of the things I've always really liked about Pikmin is that despite the fact that they all play like they all have the same basic structure, they all play arguably the same ish. Uh, 
all ga three games are really surprisingly different from each other. Uh, and they've got quite a bit of their own personal identity for each game. Uh, from different structures, I would argue. Uh, to vary to different vibes. Uh, Where is it? Come on. Oh, it's a better way here on the ground. I mean, like, the jankiness kind of, and, it, and the, like, it kind of feels like this kind of, uh, like, it feels more, I, I don't think the one feel is kind of more, I don't want to say alien. It's just that, like, it's such a kind of, like, weird kind of experience, whereas two is very fleshed out. There's so much more, you focus on there being more, and Pickwick is a very weird game, but, like, stuff feels more fleshed out, and that takes away a little bit of that kind of, like, raw kind of weirdness kind of vibe. It's like, it's kind of, it's hard to explain. I think especially the Distant Spring, though, like, with its lack of music, and it's just this, like, very, like, this, like, this, the, the, the track difference, especially. It's like, especially, like, the, the, the picture I'm hearing in my head when I think of this. Maybe it's just the distant spring, though, right? It might not actually be. Uh, hello, egg salad sandwich show. Uh, dig a bye bye. Oh, well, goodbye. It was nice seeing you. And I'm glad you stuck around, even if it was only for a few seconds. Is it in this prison thing again? It is in the prison thing again. Let's get some more in. Where is that turtle now? There we go, got him. Sonic Adventure 2, that is in fact the game we are playing. No dig a buy, dig a bye bye is a meme. I'm afraid you're gonna have to explain any memes that are Sonic related, or just in general, because I am both A, clueless, and B, uh, my, I am playing Sonic because uh, my streamers voted that I play it, not because I actually have any experience. It's not as fresh as Pikmin 2. Ah, oh, Pikmin 2. I love Pikmin 2. <laughs> first, first game is a short person that we mainly derived from Jake, which Pikmin 2 is a long character with antagonistic design. My favorite! Uh, hello, Pert Turkey. Uh, it's good to see you. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I like Pikmin 2. Uh, but I am also a noted insane person. Uh, because I like the idea of having a highly kind of like... Frust almost frustrating like, like game experience where you're just trying to like survive through to the end and then trying to like get through that to, to, to like to get through that because uh, because of the caves, the way the caves are structured, they're like these randomized stuff. It's part of why I actually really want to do a new reset run. I think that will add to like its game design of trying to keep at a, like a, like slowly like I don't know. It's very hard to explain because it's also very stupid. But I'm a very strange uh, person. I live for the challenge. I don't know, right? Like, there's something interesting about it. It might be because it's been so long since I've played it and I haven't experienced the frustration firsthand. And I've mostly just been laughing at other people who have been uh, 
getting hit through it. But I remember the most special kind of like experience I had with Pikmin 2 was trying to do the Submerged Castle, making a mistake. Uh, oh great, I can't wait to figure out how to get there. But my most memorable part of Pikmin 2 for me is trying to do the Submerged Castle, getting most of my Pikmin killed in the first floor, but enough that I could keep going, and then like trying over and over with that one squad to like make it through the castle, and like trying again and again, and like getting them run over, and going back at it, and getting them back. That's the most memorable experience. And I only got to that experience because I didn't reset after that first, after that first level killed like 60 Pikmin. Or maybe it was the second level. And because of, and like trying to struggle through with with only using with what I had, after complete and utter insane insanity, destroyed all my Pikmin. That's like my fondest memory of that game. And I I was obviously since I knew about resets, I was inclined to use them a lot. Uh, and so I, that didn't happen very often. I wonder. I've always wondered if I could get more of it if I just went in with a no reset mindset. Uh, sorry, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I'll explain more my Pikmin 2 thing. The highest emerald, so it's up here, uh, we're getting, uh, maybe place, so dig a bye bye some Lord X thingy, Sonic EXE. Lord X, okay, as far as I know, Sonic EXE, is there a lore to Sonic the EXE? I hope not, because it's like... Sonic EXE is just supposed to be like a small, kind of cheesy thing. Well, I guess it's probably was meant to be taken seriously when it was first around, so maybe it's not fair to, like, say I ruined it. Okay. Can I make the wooden container on the ledger for the gun storage? Well, thank goodness. The highest emerald. I love the tips. High zone, above the small oasis. Hey, try bringing that wooden container on the ledge in front of gun storage. I wonder where it is. <laughs> oh, this wooden container on the left at the bringing gun storage? What happens if I will use the treasure scope here? No. Oh, I did it. I don't know where... I went. Uh, I may have been kind of putting off streaming Pikmin 2. I'll start next week to where, no, it's okay. Most normal people would put off streaming Pikmin 2. <laughs> I hope I've explained kind of why I've been enamored with this no reset run, even though I've never really done it. It's been partially because of the Summerage Castle and the unique experience I had there, really. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay, that's not the highest one. That's not the one I've been getting hints for. That's probably good. Come on. Why do... Alright. Sorry. Uh, uh, do you know about Don't Starve or Terraria? I know about both of those games. Oh my gosh, where is that? This is the gun storage, right? So maybe... Or it's one of these gun storage. I guess I, I just gotta like, I'll break these guys. And then I'll just go around this entire place. With the treasure scope. Uh, no. Let me try and explain Pikmin why I... I'm enamored with this idea of playing through two, and maybe once I actually try it out, I'll hate it. In fact, that's the logical response. But I'm at this point, at least, I can't do it. No, I know where it is, Ruse. I don't know how to get there. Where do I go? It said try destroying the. It said try destroying the 
breaking the wounded care on the ledge in front of gun storage. That's this. Far enough. Is one of these gun storage instead? No other boxes, so I maybe. Yeah, I don't see any way of getting up. No matter how many things I break. Oh, this ledge! This ledge! Oh, oh, I'm in here. This is not high enough, though. Yeah, this isn't really high enough, though. Like, I, oh, I know it is. Got it, then you can get that one there. And the last one is down. Uh, okay, so. so I gotta keep reading. Do you know about, uh, wait, I know about, I'm sorry, I played a little bit of Terraria. But I've, uh, I've played a little bit of Terraria. Uh, it was, uh, fun, but I, I never, I just kind of, I don't know, I just fell off it. I haven't played Don't Stars, I've seen it. Bottom was pit. No, I know where it is. I actually know where it is. I want to see here how it's doing. Uh, wait, Rouge can climb? Yeah, Rouge could climb just like Knuckles. Because they have the same control scheme, basically. Uh, never do that. There is one in Sonic. It's because I don't have Sonic Vector 2 on my Dreamcast. That's fair. Uh, I wish I had a Dreamcast. That'd be cool. Uh, they have multiplied. Oh, that, that just, that's honestly just disappointing. It's, oh, guys, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. They have multiplied. It feels hokey to me. I don't know. But again, the whole thing is kind of hokey. That's a, kind of an unfair thing. Man, you know what's I just, I remember, remember when it wasn't hokey? <laughs> no, it never existed. Uh, but multiple, I don't know, something's weird about it. Uh, why deal with the jerky control side of Enter Games where you could be playing just Shades and Beats? Uh, well, first off, people bullied me into this. Second off, there are genuine good things about the Sonic Adventure games that... They're very different game styles, and there are good things about Sonic Adventure. I mean, you could argue that the controls to Odama are janky, but there's a lot of reason to play that game. Granted, more reason than to play this one, honestly. But I that's because I like Odama quite a bit, and I'm kind of... I really like it. How much isn't janky on Readcast? Uh, I doubt it's 100% jank-free, but it's definitely probably... I know this is a bad port, right? I can, the stuff isn't invisible. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's significantly less janky on the Dreamcast. But, I don't think it's... There's no stuff I think could use work. I, I doubt that... Some of these problems feel more like design issues than actual... Like, than stuff that could be fixed. I'm gonna subscribe, is that good? Yeah, you don't really have to ask for permission to subscribe. Uh, I will say yes. Uh, and Galaxy is jamming. How do I get down here? Is it you? You ever go down? Oh yeah, giant saw uh, one today. That was good. I was nervous, you know, because uh But we not only did we won, we won six to four, which is significant because that means maybe your offense has recovered a little bit. You know, since they were the worst in the in the league. If you like 
not too long ago. So, you know, news that they might have turned it around a little could be, uh, I mean, just, it would be just good to hear, you know. Let's see if we can get that turtle back. I mean, for instance, I mean, James, I'm sure Just Shave the Beast being like this kind of like rhythmy game, which I've actually never played, uh, probably has a, a stellar soundtrack. But this does. But I really quite like the uh, tunes here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go down. I just don't know what I'm doing. I need, like, more boxes. Not boxes, I need more TVs. I was like... I have no idea. I just don't want to get this guy. Maybe it's a sunglasses issue or a treasure scope issue. I don't usually well, like the treasure scope. Wait. There are TVs in the treasure scope room? Whoa. Big thanks, TV. Oh, well, they're not good TVs, but you know, they're TVs. There's a ton of stuff here. I will say, you should be able to just have the treasure scope on. I don't like that it resets every time you do anything, basically. Right, I gotta find a way up down there. Last time there was like a, there was a thing where we had to find it. That hits me. That is my head against the wall. So you know there's something. I don't know at all how to get this guy. Now that's the tricky part about hard mode, right? It's all about trying to find out how to get two places. And then once you do, uh, you just have to follow the, the, the path. But this is like the true exploit. Like, if you're just exploring around to see like how to like what hunts mean and how to find the gems. This is like just like truly trying to like get a find the secret thing. Kinda like it. It must be, it must be, it's gotta be a spring, right? And that's what it was in the equivalent knuckle at level. Of course. Got it. That's crazy. Cause you can put it on underwater. We learned some crazy things. Strange button. Oh, you guys have found like reacts or emotes or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that counts as engagement, so keep pressing that. It makes a little emojis pop up. Totally worth it. I guess you're not paying anything, so I guess it is kind of worth it. All right, back up we go. I see you guys are having going to town on the button. Glad to have facilitated this discovery of unprecedented scientific. Oh, you little, you terrible, terrible thing. You affront to nature. Oh, 
I don't like these. I I don't like these where you have to like go off springs because it just isn't consistent enough, and it doesn't really feel like I'm like it doesn't really feel like I'm having an issue here. And more like it's just not letting me. Wait, now I gotta get this one because I failed to get it the first time. How did I get this so easy first like first try last time? Oh, I got it. It's gotta be close. Uh, back, is that the Grimace shake in my room? Well, thanks, Salad Sandwich is dead. Sorry. Wow, Motor Spirit that doesn't interfere with chat? Sign me right up. What? Oh. oh. That's not great. Oh, by the way, I gotta do this. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to shout out Galaxy Wolf as is necessary by a legal contract. Check out Galaxy Wolf on the Twitching. Colin. Look up, Scaling School Twitch. Look up Twitch. There, it's, it's it's just comes up in the Google, so that's good. Then. Send message. All right, what are you guys saying? Uh, what is Grimace? Grimace is a McDonald's ma mascot. Decide which stage to go what? To. Why did that happen? Yeah, so apparently doing something not on Sonic Adventure 2 causes it to forget that you have headphones. Oh, wait, my headphones got unplugged. Okay, fine. So apparently getting your headphones unplugged causes it to not go through your headphones. Your life lesson was learned here. No other way to learn that lesson. Yeah. Grimace, no, please. Well, Grimace doesn't kill you. It's the shake itself. Yeah, that was the sound of uh, it blasting out of my speakers and then on into my, like, voice, voice microphone. Yeah, that was not pleasant for me either, but it probably was worse for you. Like, that can't have been fun. I'm a sandwich. I don't have ears. ears. That's true. You've been lying to us. I will, Rouge. Thanks. Dry Lagoon. Wait, what am I doing? I know exactly where I have to go. I don't even know where that it's like up here specifically, because. Yeah. You hit me last time, so I'm gonna do that to you. Like, it doesn't feel like this is skill based enough. That'd be another one of those things where I fall in. I fell a bit too far that time. So you're grounded. What do you mean? It's, oh. 
Oh, right, I call it pre-owned. Uh, yeah, so I was trying to explain why it wasn't a bit. It was for the service of making a point. Alright, so what we have? No headphones equals no headphones. Impossible. Yeah, I know. It shocked me too. The first time. Of course, you all know that because you were there. This is annoying. Uh, yeah. So I call it... Yeah, headphones are out. That's good. But it works in technology. But that might be true. But it's like old technology, so, you know. <laughs> Why is this such an annoying thing to get? If I could just aim it right, right? Who here has Sonic Origins Plus? I don't not. I have the Sonic Classics Classic Collection on the Nintendo DS. Why can I not get this thing? Have you played uh, Tears of the Kingdom? No, I have not. I thought I made this quiz before. I have not played Tears of the Kingdom. There we go, finally. Fortunately, me struggling with stuff like that. Means that we have less time. Get these, you never know. Got for ten dollars. Dang, that's pretty crazy. I I saw the trailer. It looks an interesting organ. After this play, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> you guys are not dictating what I play for a long time. You know, since the last time you guys chose what I played, it was Sonic Adventure 2. And this is episode 20, I think? Yeah, it's episode 20 of Sonic Adventure 2. We have been on this game for like a year. Maybe more. So forgive me if I am a little skeptical. It's like I'm getting to choose what we play after this. Like, I, what, like and while I have come around a little bit on this game, right? Like, there's stuff I appreciate about it. Uh, you guys aren't off the hook for this. And like Tears of the Kingdom, like that's like five bazillion million. It takes a long time to play. Is my uh, very reasonable point. I'm not entirely sure what you do. Got it. Finally. Finally, we're doing this in a timely manner. We started in February. Okay, so maybe not a year, but like, it feels like it. It's like not like half a year, but half a year, I'm pressed the confetti one, just to be clear, I've already just shapes and beats that way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play whatever the heck I want after this. Not to mention that, like, Tears of the Kingdom only happens after I finish Breath of the Wild to a satisfactory expen extent, and last time I didn't even beat the game. Right, we still have like beasts. I still want to do like a lot of side quests. Uh, I'm actually not sure when I'll call it. Uh, like when I'll actually be calling and be like, yeah, I'm ready to move on. I don't know. Uh, which one of these is next? This is Halloween. You know what? We gotta we gotta go to Chow World. That's how much I paid for Sonic Frontiers. I don't know, like 15. Uh, 
How is this all I have? What about all 15 billion animals? Where'd my animals go? What? What do you do? Don't collect all the Koraks. Turkey, turkey, turkey. I think you should learn, Mike's time, that you have no control over what I do. Isn't that what playing Sonic Adventure 2 for you has taught you? You are like, oh, play Sonic Adventure 2. I'd love to see him experience the story of Sonic Adventure 2. And now we're A-ranking everything. Because I have no leash. Where's your favorite spoon right now? It's in the... It's in your car still. Because you made me keep it in the car. Even though I, I was going home with Dad. See, if I had kept it on me. If you would let me keep it by my side. Then, like, you know. It is directly your fault. Anyway, where'd my animals go? I've been collecting animals. Where are they? Where is my animal boss? Like... Did, what happened to them? Is it because I, I had to close the game? Wait, it's probably not security hall, actually. I was like, Galaxy, yeah, what's the next one? Oh, it's in the pyramid headquarters. I just pressed Sonic Adventure 2 because I like Sonic. You never even played Sonic Adventure 2? Gotta go buy a leash to keep Phil up on. Fifty dollars plus tax. That's probably too much. Uh, was, you shouldn't even play Sonic Adventure 2. I now have a much more formed and mature opinion on Sonic Adventure 2 than you do. So there. That didn't really amount to much, I guess. What are you? Oh no, it's the stealth one. Nope. What do you know? What is nope about? There's several objectionable things I've said. Who wants to see you? Too young. Yellowhead. I guess it the yellow ones. Red pair. Oh, where's the missing melody? Yeah, I'm not in the place. Inside Eggman's robot. Why is this a mechanic? Alright, this might be a bit of a time of it. I'm gonna find this yellow head. Yeah, remember when I really hated this level but the Knuckles version? I can't wait to really hate this level but the Rouge version. Oh boy, I love this level. I don't think that's true. Who would see me speak to a region? Well, that's not gonna be very possible. We can't always really see. Nor hear. Yeah, none of us can read Norwegian, probably, so... I mean, you can, but, like, we won't be able to read it. We kind of just have to trust you. I mean, it could be lying. Oh, hey, look, it's the stupid beetle. Beetle, more like terrible game mechanic. I can't do myself. Get in here. Is it not a center room? It's not really in here, is it? It's just kind of close, right? It must mean I have to like, go further in this path. Right? 
the red path. Oh yeah, I love being shot out of the sky. I am totally lost. I guess it's in that robot. Six white eggs. Yeah, I might just, just start running through this level and then just kind of like figure out where we're going from there. So if we go around here. There's no map like there was in the other one. Egg fish chamber. So this goes to green. Oh boy. I think this thing always goes clockwise around the thing. So then, I think there's red, green, and blue. It's just actually a simpler area than Knuckles' version, which is like red, green, blue in the middle. Six white eggs. Where's the other white egg? Got to be like something over here. They go all the way to the top here. Like I said, it says near the chamber, not actually in the chamber. Well, get out of here. I take this level! Oh wow, this is a fun game for me. Data of the Eggman mark on the machine's path. I come out yet. Oh, this one was going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, let's end stream early. This is not in the video. Uh, play volleyball with a mouth. Great. Maybe we'll get lucky and we don't have to play this one very much. Maybe that'll happen and I'll just die and cry. Yeah, so this is actually like a smaller level. There's like only like... It's like only one way through. Right? There's like clockwise and counterclockwise, basically. Free volleyball with a mouth. Room with glowing hieroglyphics. So right now it's not wise to go this way though because... Wait, so maybe it's best, maybe the strategy for this game is... Just to, oh my gosh. This sucks! This just sucks. I'm going the wrong way. I don't really know why I'm doing this. Get away from me. Oh, what, are you, what are you guys saying? A room near the stake altar. Is that what this is? Yeah. Okay, this way? Nope, it's not beeping. So, I think if you just run the path, you can't always find it. Oh, go to Roblox! That's good, that's like a thousand points. Play volleyball with a note. Glowing hieroglyphics. Oh, 
home. Uh, I think it will if you travel clockwise. I would never do that. I think it's near here though. All right, so I. Oh man, cats progress like five Brazilian years without one. Is it here? A flame room. these guys I think there might be okay I'm gonna uh born in the Sonic the Hedgehog two times oh boy I love this level guess speaking of the lights for a man it's born in Mario Galaxy unintelligible Norwegian screen flashing green means oh come on why can you see me there I'm out of your view uh uh, hello. I think there might be one of between the same move to the level. Could Kirby defeat Sonic for the argument pretend he does not inhale? Uh, um, yes, obviously. Drinker does not consume, obviously. Guys, I'm back to English now. Hi. Uh, did you guys transliteration? No, I'm playing a video game. Uh, I think I'll avoid the Beatles if you travel clockwise. Oh, uh, yeah. Smarter, are you actually smart? My battery is at 69. Uh, yes, I am using normal. Depends on what you consider smart, but in any case, none of them. Alright, glad we've uh, covered this. How oh, in the world? A flame room near the spake altar. Playing volleyball with a mouse. Oh, yeah, Why are near the snake altar? This is a snake altar. I just don't know what a flame room is. I'm gonna be right back, okay. I'm just very confused. It's looking straight at me, this is stupid. Oh, are you kidding me? It literally was so close that it pushed me off. Alright, glowing hieroglyphics, there we go. Oh, it does. Play volleyball with a mouse. This is basically a channel, right? How do you get up here? How does one play volleyball with a mouth? Why 
How do I get above this stupid thing? This is very confusing. You know, if we keep saying, like, uh, what is it? Knuckles has, like, rats. Uh, well, the movie for the Solomon's Fire, everything else is a garbage fire. It's good. But, yeah, uh, uh, if, if Knuckles, if, not the, if Knuckles, shoot, if Knuckles, has rats. Well, she says shoot. So we gotta give Rouge a gun. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, right? Okay, it's clear where I was, uh, that's here, right? We got the glowing hieroglyphics. We know it's a flame room near the snake altar. Play volleyball with a mouth. What does that mean? Things are terrible. Back, just look at my Reddit. Oh, it's no. What is this place? Drawing hieroglyphics. I guess this is a flame room. Forgot about its existence, to be honest. I'm ashamed to play this. Oh gosh, it's gonna be You're having a fun, positive experience. It couldn't last long. It never last long. That would be ridiculous. How could it ever last long? That would be ridiculous. I'd honestly be offended if it lasted long. Oh, it's here. So my new strategy is just to rotate around as fast as I can. This is not the right place. I'm an idiot. Let's go to red. where the next thing is. Where where exactly it is actually is it's a little bit of a mystery. Yeah sure that makes sense. And I guess since the metal detector is a mechanic, I can't complain too much. Like, it does literally tell me where to go, but, like, it was a little dumb. There we go. Yeah, the running around, just like, since this level is actually just a circle, 
It's kind of actually, you can just run around it continuously. I think that's kind of the intended kind of way to play this. Uh, no memes. New memes. That reminds me, I'll be back next stream. That's good. That helps me get more th things. Like a vass? I love a vass. Now my friends have called me. They've told me, Philip, this is a vase. Uh, but, uh, no. I refuse. Alright, so there's no reason to go in there. I'm, uh, I'm an idiot for trying. Two minutes. with rain so I can uh, be distracted for a bit. I think I probably want to stay ahead of that thing if I'm actually going to do this. This is gonna be a hard one. Uh uh sorry. I've I'm very excited. Uh I found a voice act for moves, not gonna lie. Uh that's good. Uh, it's, it's a good goal in life, I think. Voice act specifically for Rouge and Sonic Adventure 2. Become, become the current voice actor for Rouge. I don't work. Uh, there's gotta be a place where there's big, big money, right? Or maybe it's just that, like, you just run around this place. This is actually all there is. Well, the advantage about this is that I would never get stuck trailing these guys if I'm going this the other way. I think that's gonna be the secret to success.
Come on, get past me. I'm not sure where this two, where this is gonna come from. So if I, most levels have like a big money spot, right? Like no parts where they do have like a ton of rings. I'm not sure. I I'll know if I'm missing one if I can collect no rings. Ain't really far without it. And I lost all the rings. I think I just have to get all the rings. Uh. Time for A rank for the next two missions. Didn't pick up my call. I was going to do a bit where I called you and said, Philip, that's a vase. Oh, right. Yeah, I think. I don't know what's going on. Did you call me? Recents. Yeah, I didn't get your call. Probably has to do with my declining cell surface. Alright, so I do have to, like, get past them. Maybe if I'm fast enough, I can completely avoid this fate. Maybe I just need to go this way, but be fast. Never get caught behind. So I hate this thing. That's what you boards. Oh yeah, I can't restart because of how Sonic Adventure 2 works. I think I've got my strategy. Yeah, they got my plan. the level where we get the digging tool or whatever it's called. Alright. Don't worry about 
about that. Oh, uh, so now behind it. We lost. Oh, you can just kind of outrun it. That was close if we hadn't screwed up so much. Oh, hey, it's a call. Hello. Watch that. I couldn't. I can't hear you. Wow, say that again. I still can't hear you. Oh, shoot. This isn't plugged in. Dang it. Oh, actually. Must be some other issue. It is plugged. That's weird. Why is my phone not working? Hold on. Sorry, pause. As, as I figure this out. All right, so. It's plugged in. The thing, the like. Cord right near the here. That's weird. There must be some kind of thing wrong with my phone wire. Because like. Now it's really hot around the part like that's. That gets plugged in. Smell it like burning. Not burning, but like it's hot. And of course, if I plug it back in, ow, it gets really hot. That's my second blue wrong. And it does not successfully charge my phone. What if I take. I'll like keep it plugged in, but take out the, uh, thing. Still really hot. I, I've taken off the phone, and we'll see what happens. Of course, this does mean that, uh, there's a problem. Is this thing still taking a phone call? Right. Missed call. Okay. I'll deal with that later. That's a bit annoying. I kind of liked that as a charger. Yeah, it's time to restart. Get this, get the rings. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? There's a build up over time. I'll go back in here. It should restart everything. Nope, it doesn't restart the time. So let's try going backwards again. Gosh, that, no, you know what? I'm sticking to my guns.
guess it like adds up. but I'm trying to stay safe by running the other way when I get to the robots. It might work. There we go, 90. And 10 more. How do I get that? Not in here, but. Gosh dang it. Where are the rings for it? I really need to get. At, where are the rings? The other. Huh. Yo, new, new sib. What is a sib? Oh, welcome back. This level continues to perplex me. It becomes increasingly clear I don't actually know what I'm doing. I really don't know how to do this level. Especially not the ring challenge, the 100 ring challenge. I'm not even sure like I'm getting all of, all 200 all 100 rings. It's the only reason it's even uh, thought is because of how actually small this level is. back in here. This whole thing is insanity. Over there. I don't like this mission at all. There's some side paths through boxes in the wall. Are any of them big money spots? Because like, that's what I really need, a big money spot. 
If he's worried about getting every single ring, it's about trying to find the uh, best way to get a ton of rings. This isn't like there's a lot of rings here, but they're hard to get. You have to spend time getting them. the precision rings. Not really the kind you want to have to go for. Just so side through the center pass to the game, then some boxes to the right is an easy ten rings. Good. Those with all rings there. That might be all I need just because I just need to. Uh... But it's still not, it's still too fast. And this, the controls for this, this character are still way too finicky. After that, also there's a rocket that breaks the way into a big room. All right, so that's, so that there's a stuff in that room. It's worth getting that. Let's see. Fire the rocket. 
this is a big room. Do I get rings in this big room? Though? No, life is nice, but it's really not what I need. Right, so there's a fiber. Magnet shield, that's actually a super heal. Magnet shield and a fiber, I guess. Oh, it's worth a shot. I think I see this being lucrative. Definitely that magnet shield, considering how hard it can be to get. That might be the speed up necessary just to get this uh, thing going. This one, five frames. Run near least. So you can throw those. Especially over here. If you see getting these or not. Look at how easy these are to get. Oh, that is very nice. Got it. That's an A, a rank. A, a A rank. A A A A A A rank. A A rank. A rank. A A A rank. All right, that's so one. In here. But we clearly must do something. Oh, gosh dang it. This one. Get that thing, those guys. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is this the Lost Woods? And not really, it's like one loop. Oh, child world. Let's go feed the chow these delicious animals. So cute. I need to check his uh, stats though, so you're gonna have to not just spawn so cute. Just gonna like, check his stats a little. So, let's see, give him this. Yeah, there we go. 
Y is really high, as is power as well. What is what? What is going to do? Sure, let's do it this guy. It's a power. We know you need power. And the grower is definitely power. Decreases fly by a little and probably run too. Long. So what's this? Do? More more decrease of fly. This is being done not good. Can we can we him? Skunk is skunk. Is it no weakness. What? Alright. Hey, where is that skunk? The skunk really leave. No, it's here. Skunk. Skunk doesn't appear to do anything bad. It's just a op overall. That's just gonna have to deal with. It doesn't do anything to fly, I guess. No, it does. Oh, this guy could have helped with fly. Oh, there wasn't our most strategic usage. Yeah, okay, we could have done that better. To coax more of a level up out of you. Let's give you some more stamina. Come on, get that stamina, get that stamina. That stamina, get, get the stamina. I think this is going to be the end of the stream. I know it's a bit sudden, normally we go for three or so hours, but we did start an hour late. And also, I have to wake up like five or something tomorrow, so you know. Oh, hi, it's Egg Salad. So, sorry, we're kind of ending it off here in this thing. I know we're kind of really close to getting the uh, chow. I don't think it'll be too hard to do the timer either. I just, I'm getting really fatigued and. Tomorrow I have to wake up early and still and also be house manager by myself for a show. So I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna call it. Uh, but it's been a great time. Thank you uh, for coming. Thanks for all the new 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 new, new kids. Thanks. It's good to meet you. And go to the end streams. Wait, no, that's my job. Uh, you go to the description to go to like the Twitter and the Discord and the stuff. I'm going to end the stream. Goodbye.